do I ever feel like I would have been selling seeds? I mean, I didn't think we would have a company called DNA Genetics. Being able to produce viable seeds is a very serious business. I think DNA Genetics is probably the best uh, seed breeder out there. We've been very impressed with their work. Uh, we know plenty of growers that uh, really want their genetics. They are known to have some of the best house strains out there. So yeah, you really do need seeds. Everyone that I know has ever grown a DNA genetic seed has come up with some serious fire. It's really hard to make seeds. It's a whole science. I'm Aaron from DNA Genetics Amsterdam. As a breeder, you try to look for something that has all the winning qualities. We go into breeding projects with, okay, we want the yield of this variety with the smell of this variety. And because really it, it's, it's about the terpenes. The terpenes are the are the flavors that you taste and the smells that you, that you smell. I mean, people talk about, oh, I got the highest THC or I got the highest CBD. But what they're not talking about, because they don't know, it's the flavors and the smells are really the most medicinal part of the plant. When I got to Amsterdam, I wasn't so impressed with the cannabis there. It wasn't on par with what we had in California. We saw an opportunity to bring some freshness into the system out in Holland and give it some California love. So we basically brought California to Amsterdam. We took a clone called the Affy from LA. It was a short plant, it smelled great, it tasted great. Everything except for its growth pattern was great. We took Affy and crossed it into another Afghani variety to get it closer to that one thing that we were looking for. That's how we came up with LA Confidential. It gave some freshness into the community, something new, something new for the coffee shops to have. It's, it's one of our best selling strains out of Amsterdam. We still love it. And that's the seeds that we've been putting out for almost 11 years now, over a decade. It's a great strain. It reminds me of California. We grow it, we select it. Then we have to taste it and try it and to see if it's good enough for them to put out on the market. There's a few strains that are popular here in LA, uh, Kosher Kush, Tangy. You know, there's a, there's a few different ones that are really popular out here that are, that we're behind. I think seeds touch more of the world than a clone could touch. Our seeds, can be found everywhere in the world. Well, you can tell the differences between strains by their seeds. Some seeds are bigger, some seeds are darker, some seeds are lighter, some might be really round, some might be really tiny. LA Confidential seeds have a, actually have a unique shape to them. They're a little bit longer. Different strains, different varieties make different shaped seeds. Another way to tell seeds if they're good or bad, the finger test. The seeds are very strong and a nice healthy seed won't break when you put your finger down on it like that. Right here we have a seed that hasn't come out of its seed pod yet. Then you have a, a fully developed seed in the middle. And then right here you have an immature seed. To pollinate a plant, there's all different ways. You can literally just go like that. Pollen is almost lighter than air. And when that pollen flies around in the room, it hits those little white hairs that are on the plant. It produces a seed in that calyx. And the timing has to be right, just like a, a baby, a human. It's really unique to have someone else like come up to you and say, hey, you know those freebie seeds you gave to me like eight years ago? I just entered the cannabis cup with them. We like to create new varieties because, uh, you know, you're evolving, you're evolving the market, you're evolving the medicine, you're creating new things. It's been 11 years now that we've been in business and 11 years now people are enjoying everything that we've been breeding, so I guess they enjoy our taste. Seeds, uh, you know, I, I wanna say uh, cannabis has gotten me everything that I've ever gotten.